Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Thursday, July 7th, 2016. Today we begin with what Microsoft said a few days ago referring to their Play Anywhere feature. Halo 6 for PC probably won't happen. Apparently, every new title are only titles developed completely by Microsoft because they changed their wording. Nintendo Shigeru Miyamoto talked a little bit about Pikmin 4, saying it has been hard to fit it into our development list, even though he said last year the game was almost complete. Amazon customers have rated No Man's Sky as the most anticipated game of 2016. Yeah, no shit, everybody I know wants that game, and if the devs pull off what they say they're going to do, then it's going to be huge. Team Fortress 2 has been updated, adding a ranked matchmaking feature. Also updated is Overwatch's competitive mode. Players will now receive a loss regardless of the outcome of the match if you leave and then come back into the same one. The division went down for three hours today to fix an issue with the Pulse talent. There was a rumor going around yesterday that downloading the APK file to your phone that I mentioned yesterday for Pokemon Go could get you banned from playing. Many people then deleted the app from their phone because of it. First of all, the developer made no indication that this would get you banned at all, but more importantly, it has been released in North America and you have nothing to fear anyway. Go outside and start catching. Speaking of Pokemon Go, Ubisoft made a spoof video for Pokemon Go that is a take from their own Go mobile series. It's always good to see when companies make jokes like this towards each other. Coming in next is release announcements. The remake of Resident Evil 4 for Xbox One and PS4 now has a release date of August. August 30th. A new video is out for Civilization 6 showing Cleopatra and explaining the mechanics and benefits of Egypt in the upcoming game. 19 years after its release, Final Fantasy 7 has officially made it to Android phones. No more emulators for you. There's new stunt racing DLC out for GTA Online. Free, of course. Ark Survival Evolved is getting updated for Xbox One next week, Monday, and will include the Titanosaur. And finally, my favorite game, Kerbal Space Program is coming to PS4 and Xbox One later this month. No specific date has been given yet, but you know where to find it when it is. I was wrong about something yesterday, but I'm not going to tell you what until later on today's news cartridge. Yesterday I had shown a counter from Evolve's website, which I said was counting down to Evolve 2. Well, I was wrong about that, and it turns out the counter was counting down until the time it would be announced that Evolve is now free to play. It was announced this morning that Evolve is no longer available for purchase on Steam. The developer then talked about the, quote, shitstorm involving all of the DLC plans the game had upon launch. With over $100 of DLC available on day one, many people were put off by the game, I think rightfully so. And while all of that day one DLC was cosmetic, it disheartened gamers and derailed the hype train and spelled disaster for Evolve. Turtle Rock is now going to revamp the game with a free-to-play business model, which means I will definitely give it a try. What are your thoughts on Evolve going free-to-play? Is it too little too late, or do you think that this is what Turtle Rock needs to breathe new life into Evolve? Let me know down below. If you haven't been paying attention, the CSGO community is currently having a bit of a breakdown. Valve has been incredibly silent on the matter, and only adding more fuel to the fire is T. Martin after he uploaded a video to YouTube this morning apologizing for not making it clear that he owned CSGO Lotto. The video has since been taken down, but of course there are mirrors, which you can definitely find in the description down below. More than likely, his lawyer told him to take it down because it will be used against him. This guy lied and said he discovered a new site for CSGO Gambling, a site that he owns and said in the video was on public record since the beginning. How do you discover something that you already own? Hey guys, you know what? There is this amazing new gaming news website that I just found. It's called News Cartridge. The host is incredibly good looking. In the quick spot today is a continuation of a story I had covered earlier this week. Denuvo is a company that makes a DRM tool by the same name for games like Just Cause 3 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. They have commented on the possibility of their software being cracked. The head of marketing and sales made a statement to Eurogamer saying the method used to bypass the DRM cannot be replicated, nor are cracked versions of any game with Denuvo popping up. So this game news pundit is going to call it and say that Denuvo has not been cracked as of today. Let me know your thoughts on DRM or if you have a question about DRM in the comments down below. 
Finally today, I get to ramble about a new graphics card that's been officially announced, the GTX 1060. There seems to be a new price to performance king as the 1060 offers configurations of both 3GB and 6GB models. Get the 6GB one. For the price of $299 US dollars for the Founders Edition and $249 for the aftermarket custom boards. Just wait for the aftermarket ones because they're going to be cheaper and faster. Given the statistics of it that we saw earlier, this card seems to be much better than the GTX GTX 980, the card that I am currently running. It's a wonderful card, and to pack that much power into a $250 package is damned impressive and will make you completely VR ready. Hooray! Tomorrow's game releases for PC The Dark Legions, Vista Escapes VR, Fossil Echo, Hypno Rain, Mistfall, Memento, Watch This, Haven Moon. Grav Lab, Gravitational Testing Facility and Observations, Asteroids Minesweeper, Button Frenzy, Fly O'Clock, Mr. Pumpkin Adventure, Fly Glowfly, Red Trigger, Dead End Road, Umi Neko, When They Cry, Question Arc, and The Last Error. For PlayStation 4, Hawken, and for Xbox One, Dex Enhanced Version. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And here's some advice at a job interview. Tell them you're willing to give 110%, unless the job is a statistician.